Oh man, as soon as I start recording, get the bloody audio save going. Alrighty, this is Harry Buffett, and this is Lag, and come on computer, I'm not asking you to do too much here, there we go. So, we are getting into it again, and this is our silicon mining operation, and it is almost dead, so we're just going to trim that guy a little bit, and yeah, that guy's going to run out very, very quickly, 31k. So, at some point, we'll need to build a something or other to get some silicon. I think I remember saying we were just going to mine this guy out um, remotely and do that instead. Which, actually, did I do that already? I did. I did set up some uh, large area mining drills here with the passive providers. So that's all good. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, what are we doing this episode? We got tungsten last episode, didn't we? And this episode is... I really don't know, to be honest. Um, I'm just kind of in a really big, I want to play Fortress Craft, so I want to get this series done sort of thing. And I know that's not... Yeah, maybe maybe I'll do both at the same time. Maybe I'll just let this one slow end, or maybe I'll just push this one until it gets over, but it's interesting. I don't know what we're going to be doing. So anyway, you'll notice I didn't decide to put any of the uh, copper tungsten or tungsten stick or whatever the hell that other tungsten stuff is on this belt. I was planning on doing it, but since they're not needed for belts, and since we don't care about belts, it kind of seems like a waste. Nitinol will still probably put on there, but even so, I mean, my desire for belts has gone completely out the window for upgrading them, so, <clears throat> I don't know, it's just something that we're not really going to worry about. So, this episode, I feel like, well, worker robot speed, I'm pleased to say, has started moving a bit, high-tech science is still slow as which I'm not pleased to say. That's going to be green circuits, and green circuits have been improved. Sort of. Although you guys are still slow as. You take 10, and you take 10. So it's simply a problem of not having enough of these machines. Did I just pick up 9,000 of those bloody things? Feels like I just did. Two, yeah, or nine, 9,000 of the damn things. Alrighty, so. First things first, we're gonna upgrade these to blue. Not sure if it really matters, but we're gonna do it anyway. Uh, these pipes are all full. I don't feel like we need to do anything like uh, doing anything. I know that doesn't make sense, but I don't feel like we need to. What the hell was I going to say? I should stop casting before 6am. It's obviously not a good idea, but... Yeah, completely forgotten what I was going to say. I don't think it's necessary to get robots getting uh, ferric chloride in here. Long distance roboting it in. I feel like we can just leave the pipes as they are. And I feel like that'll be fine. So... You want to get like that, don't you? So we'll just build it up to be as high as the other guys. And we might upgrade these machines to be green ones as well, because that just seems like a good idea. You get upgraded, and now everything's got power. And of course, we need to make sure that we remember to do that guy. So... Now, oh, I missed a couple. Alrighty, so now that's another thing that we have got done. And yeah, I can feel my voice going already, so <clears throat> it's not coughing going, it's just feeling a bit dry, feeling a bit off, but we just had to deal with it, I guess. You should really be a passive provider. I don't know if you'll ever need to be a passive provider, but there's no reason not to make you one, so let's just do it. And yeah, all the other components are holding up. It's just these green circuits. They have been revitalized. Green board, sorry. So we should see... Yeah, look at that. That's going all the way to the end, almost. And this guy is still doing okay. It's probably, probably because of the way we're splitting it off. So this guy will always be full, while for like basic electronic boards, they'll always get the raw deal. 
But, yeah, this is starting to look a lot better. We got almost all of these guys being produced. Almost all of them, anyway. And I definitely think that our yellow science is in a lot better hands now. Because, I don't know if that will keep all of them running, but that should keep a lot of them running. And we've still got a thing here, don't we? Although we don't have any robots coming over to pick these circuits up, so I feel like the mall is probably backed up fully. What are you guys doing? Ah, oh, yes, this stuff. Thank God these guys don't require the big circuits yet. And I don't think they ever will. Because these guys, it's just boards and raw components. I mean, integrated electronics are the big things they desire which are also used in green circuits, but yeah, that's about it. So, we need to get blue circuits done at some point as well. That's definitely something we need to get done because, yeah, this guy actually needs blue circuits. Uh, but then again, I mean, level three furnaces, maybe it's not that big a deal because I was thinking of going level three furnaces and stuff, but these guys are fully working. I mean, all these guys are backed up. You're backed up, you're backed up. Lead is, lead is kind of not backed up. It's all but it's being fully used. But it's being backed up by the actual belt. So the fact that we can fit two speed modules into each of these guys is absolutely beautiful. You are absolutely crushing it, sir. Gold is good again. This is not looking as good as I would have liked. Hydrogen. Why is there no hydrogen? Okay, we need to investigate this really quickly. So you are full. Okay. So this condition is still less than five. Which is apparently not good enough because we want a decent amount there so i'm going to say less than 50 and you are going to say less than 50. we really really want to be chucking these guys out if we just have too many of them there we go all right so hopefully that should allow this guy to go a little bit more full steam and that'd be awesome <coughs> it's possible i don't know if i really like this thing too much I really don't know if I do so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna get rid of it and we're gonna replace it with something better so what we're gonna do instead is we're going to pump, pump stuff that needs needle oil so we'll get two of you guys and we'll put you here and here, and we'll need a bit of power here. And then you are going to go like. Uh, what are we doing? Now, you know what? I feel like we don't need anything complicated. I feel like we can just do this. So you're at that, and you're at 24k. So I feel like if you are above 10k, and we'll make it 10k so that we can um, have a lot of spare room to push the chlorine out so all of these guys can run as fast as possible, then yeah, and then you are going to be hydrogen more than 10k, and then we do Gas venting pump, gas venting pump. Is this guy fast enough? Is the question. Is a single gas venting pump fast enough? Because this bride produces 25 every 2 seconds and we got 10 of them. So that's 250 every 2 seconds, 125 every second. And that's 100 every second. So it's not quite fast enough. You can see it's not really draining it like I was hoping it would. Uh, so maybe we'll have to 
do two of the little bastards, which should be easy, absolutely easy to do. Okay, now we're going to see some serious drainage coming out of this guy. I hope anyway, because they're all pretty much full. They're all pretty much running. <coughs> so excellent. And the goal is just to make sure that these machines are continuously running at full speed, no matter what happens. And we're producing all of this off of water, off of pure water to be exact. So yes. It should all be beautifully fine. We can just keep pumping in water forever. There's no requirement to do anything else. Just these machines, just these ones here. So yeah, we can keep running forever, pumping water out of the ground and it's fine. The only thing that might stop these guys now is this guy filling up sodium hydroxide. Uh, and you know what? Let's do something with that as well. Just so that we can say that we have done something. So you had a total of 800 slots. No, you're a storehouse. You have way less than 800 slots. You have 150 slots. So that's 15,000. So if you go over 10,000 in Mr. Sodium Hydroxide. Then you will start chucking things away. <coughs> I don't know if you'll ever get over 10,000, but if you are over 10,000, then we can afford to start chucking stuff away because you'll have more than enough for aluminium. So there we go, all of these machines are running now. This guy is fully backed up. This guy looks like he's backed up, but he's actually not. And Yes, yeah, so even if that machine gets backed up, these guys will still get drained. All these machines will be running. And our hydrogen supplies will be beautiful. And I feel like that's as much as I can do. It does. I don't feel like this is running as good as it can, but it, all of these machines are running. And that's all, really all we can hope for at this point. Uh, although, now we can improve them a bit, can't we? So, 38... Why are you not building more? You should have everything you need. Plastic. Plastic bars. Well, that's a petrol thing, isn't it? Uh, yeah. That's a petrol thing. So, where's my thingamabobs? Of course, we've got to remember we are dealing with ratios. So, we need to get these guys in here and this should be fine i don't think we need to improve these guys at all but <coughs> there we go and this belt is actually getting it's about half full so it's not too bad but there we go we just upped our hydrogen by a fair bit i feel like these are going a little bit faster and that should mean that our uh, tungstic stuff is backed up it's actually backed up now so that is Excellent. Hopefully with the amount of tungsten products, tungsten products we need, uh, keeping that guy backed up should not be hard at all. Now, I'm starting to think that considering we're not going to be building uh, purple belts, that this guy is no longer really belt worthy, we got bus worthy, we're going to leave it on the bus, but what I'm saying is we don't need it to be... Um, <coughs> we don't need to build a second one for Nitinol. We can just reuse this one because, yeah, it should be fine. So this is going to be Nickel and Titanium. And I feel like this is just a straightforward sort of deal. We can use this guy to do it. Yes. And this is going to be the only thing that we ever need to build on our third level. Pretty sure it will be anyway, so let's leave a decent amount of space like that. Here is frickin' power pole. Uh, dum, 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 dum. Wanna leave a decent amount of space, but not too much. We wanna You know what? You are in <coughs> Ugh, you're in a weird area, so we should actually fix you guys up a bit. So you 
Are you in a weird area? No, you're you're correct. You're fine. Ah, oh, go away, you. You're confusing my calculations. There we go. Now, you are perfect. You are absolutely perfect. There we go. Still covering these guys, which is beautiful. And we've run out of power down there, but that's fine. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like I'm putting this down here. You guys are all done. So you and go away. And that'll keep power going for those guys. Chemical furnaces always. We got multi purpose two furnaces now, don't we? Don't we? So. Here we go. 50 of them. Nice round number. <coughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man. And you are all going to be making Nitinol. And this is the last thing to go in our smelting setup, I believe. The last thing. So, what have we got going on here? You are titanium. Titanium will go on the inside because it's a it is less titanium than nickel. So we'll put titanium on the inside. Give me something, please. There we go, that's what we want. <coughs> Bloody hell. Alrighty, so titanium goes on the inside. And I don't feel like we actually have nickel here because nickel is a level one and this is a level two line. <coughs> so, nickel. Uh, do we want to thread that down or something? I feel like we got space here that we're not going to use at all ever. So I feel like we can probably thread it down. Here we go. You look suspiciously like nickel. So Yep, that's coming down beautifully. <coughs> and now we just need to wait and all good things come to those who wait, assuming they set up the logistic system correctly. Because we forgot to do that properly. So we need to do that. Excellent. And it's a good feeling to just have two of these power poles. You just put one, you just put the other, and they will always connect to each other because they're so damn big. And there we go. There's Nitinol, and the bots are all over it straight away. And now we can build anything we damn well want from the mall, except for the things that require blue circuits. Oh, all messy whisk or something. <coughs> Man, this cough is really bad this morning. I think I'm just going to do this one episode and then just say... Look, we need to uh, we need to do other things. Like we need to do something else. I'm not sure if a cough drop will even help this guy. Really, really not. CPUs, gilded copper wire. <coughs> As we've said many, many, many times in the past, if it's needed over here, we don't really need to do it on the bus. And so we're not going to. We're not going to do it on the bus. We're going to do it. I feel like over here is a nice little area. Um, yeah, I'd like to do it over here, but there's no RoboPort coverage, so. Hmm. I feel like we can just go to our old standby and do it over here, maybe. This is a nice area. <coughs> so we'll just set up a nice, quick little setup for these guys. They don't have to be super fast, but <clears throat> they can be decent. 
because your CPUs take gilded copper wire. Gilded copper wire is not on the bus. Takes copper cable and gold plate. So we could build these on the bus. We really, really could. But building stuff off the bus is a little bit more painful than um, <coughs> just building stuff normally. Now, the downside of building it off the bus is we have to rely on the passive providers to actually have the components, which is going to be slightly annoying, but I feel like that's fine. So you produce five CPUs every seven seconds, and you produce one every 15 seconds. So that is interesting. So five every seven seconds. So if it was one every seven seconds, we'd have a two to one ratio. So now we've got a 10 to one. So what we're gonna do here is one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we've got a 10 to one ratio. So <clears throat> you are going to be There we go. Don't know why it kept doing stupid things, but it did. So there we go, five CPUs. Oh, and we're just gonna make these as simple as we can. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I really should just be copying and pasting these guys, and I really am just gonna be copying and pasting these guys. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. It is just silly. <clears throat> I'm going to make one stack of them only. You are the reverse. You get one stack only. I feel like you only need one stack. <clears throat> and then... Ooh, sulfuric acid. Oh, you can only reverse it with a blueprint. So we have to do it like that, which is unfortunate, but... That's all right. Empty sulfuric acid battery, barrel, whatever. Goes like that, goes like that. And you are my barrels of sulfuric acid. Nice and big. <coughs> okay. Do that. Push these guys up a fair bit. As we can, and you are going to be similar. You need these blue boards as well. All right, blue boards. We're going to have to make. <coughs> going to have to make the damn things. All right, everything should be fine. Gilded copper wire. We're making over in the mall, so we can reuse that. I don't know if we're making enough. These guys might start uh, seriously abusing the amount of gilded copper wire that I'm making, but. <clears throat> we'll just have to deal with it, I guess. Alrighty. Silicon nitride is on the bus in a barrel, which is good. Silicon wafer, actually, is something that we're going to need to make because we make it off the bus in weird places. We don't actually make it anywhere properly. So <clears throat> let's do that here. Do, do, do. Ah, okay. uh, yes, so you are going to be silicon plate, thousand, let's just go overboard because we can, and I feel like it's over here somewhere, <clears throat> and since it makes eight of it, let's get a couple extremely fast these guys probably overkill but yeah let's just do that and there we go excellent so that's our silicon wafer supply done <coughs> and that should ensure that these guys are done what the hell just happened here you do not need all this stuff okay i don't know what i did but cpus do not need CPUs to make them. Did I click the wrong thing? <clears throat> okay. 500, 800, 800. Bit of overkill, but <clears throat> whatever. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I must have done something screwy there. 
But anyway, there we go. We're now making some CPUs. And now we can start making these guys once we figured out how to make multi-layered boards. That's the last thing. Oh, well, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad at all. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this setup, except we're not going to copy the request at chess. We're just going to copy the actual machines. You're not quite in range of that, are you? Let's remedy that situation. And you know what? I feel like these could be a little bit further away just for aesthetic reasons. There we go. That looks a little bit nicer. So now you are going to be ferric chloride. Boom, boom, boom. You are going to be those guys. <coughs> and I keep forgetting I can do this. 500, I feel like 500 or 600, whatever. It's a pretty good number. You don't, don't. That requires the other boards, the fiberglass boards. We might put a strain on those actually with what we're doing, but <laughs> that should be fine. I feel like we've got a decent amount of those in stock. 15 seconds to do that. 15 seconds to build a single one. So what that means for us, ladies and gentlemen, is that we need to have a one-for-one -one relationship between these blue boards and these uh, blue circuits because they each take the same amount of time. So we've got two of these. We're going to have... God damn it. Get all the pipes when I blueprint you, please. Six, eight, ten... Do, 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 do. There we go, that's 20. Uh, <clears throat> six, I still want a lot of blue circuits, which is why I'm building so many of these damn machines. Alrighty, and we'll put that there. Bit off, but it covers both of them now, which is great. All of the copper and all of the gold is coming in beautifully. Not sure if all of the... Uh, Fiberglass boards are going to come in that fast. It don't look like they are. <clears throat> so you know what? We're just going to make a separate setup over here to make fiberglass boards because I feel like the sort of situation... Actually, we'll make it over here. <clears throat> but I feel like the sort of situation we're relying on in the bus to make us fiberglass boards is not, not that stable and we could be doing better. So you are basically the same, basically exactly the same. <clears throat> and you take 10 seconds. So what we do here is, screw it, let's just grab all of them. If we make too many, here we go. <clears throat> well, that didn't work how I wanted it. Still didn't work how I wanted it. Anyway. Let's just get rid of all these guys before they start chucking tons of fiberglass boards in the things that are supposed to be making fiberglass boards. Ah, fiber... I was looking at green circuit boards, but I was supposed to be looking at fiberglass boards. Whoops. That was a wee bit of a mistake. Alright, it's all good. It's all good. So... Here we go. So you are nothing. You are just a bit higher. Steal all that crap. Oh, shouldn't have stolen it from that one. So, how long do you take? Two every half a second. Okay, I feel like we don't need a lot of these. We were going to max them out like these ones, but that's when I thought they needed something different, and now I realize they no longer do. <laughs> You're still trying to deliver copper and gold to this one. Not happy about you doing that. But plastic, plastic is starting to become a very serious problem here. We're building a lot of it. We're just using a lot of it. 
Like, apparently a blue belt is definitely not enough. Alright, sh probably should have done this a while ago, to be honest. But, just never go around to it. We're going to double this guy up. How are we going to double this guy up? Jesus, I hate belts. I really, really do hate them. Uh, Alright, let's go from this direction. Please tell me there is a gap here. Alright, there is a gap here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this belt that I just created on the side. We're going to make that batteries. <clears throat> and then we can have the two open plastic belts right next to each other. So you're all fine. So we're going to reroute batteries over to here. You are going to be a little bit further. <coughs> Alrighty, so we got batteries going down there now. We just got to make sure that this belt gets cleared off. So we'll just keep a little bit of an eye on that. And then once it gets cleared off, we can disconnect it from the bottom level and connect it up to plastic. Which is this guy right here. So that should be easy to do. Absolutely easy. <clears throat> Duh, bloody ass. Okay, I feel like you have finished your job. Gonna be a little bit of spaghetti, but I think I'm past the point where I'm caring. I'm just like, do what you gotta do at this point. Just do what you gotta do. <clears throat> and now, what do we do? Well, the very, very first thing we do... We got tons of petroleum, so this may be a much simpler problem than I originally thought. All right, full belt. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> now what we do is we do this. And somehow I still had that many normal pipes with me, which is very interesting. <clears throat> and then we go <clears throat> do a bit of an underground there Do a bit of an underground there. Get this guy some power. <clears throat> and we are good. Now, we got two full belts of plastic going on down to the bus. And, well, spilling a little bit off there. But, I feel like we can balance these guys out a bit. Because we're draining this belt off here. And then we're draining that belt off lower as well for something else. So, I feel like... We need to balance it a little bit just to get that guy going. And <clears throat> hopefully that will have completely solved our plastic problems, which means we should be getting tons of this stuff. Probably it wasn't even a problem with fiberglass boards down on the bus. It's probably just a problem with plastic being shit. But <clears throat> there we go. There we go. There we go. Two full belts of plastic coming right up. This guy's not using a lot, but it seems like this belt is still a little bit funky. <clears throat> anyway. We'll just have to see what goes on here. Um, <clears throat> whether this eventually backs up. I'm hoping it will eventually back up. Let's do take a quick squeeze down the line. So you are severely depleted. 
that's a half a belt, which will always get fully used. So that's half a belt. Done. So we continue to move down the line. Continue to move down the line. There's a half a belt that will probably get used up. I'm not sure if it can actually fully use half a belt, but <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, so maybe that's another half a belt. Then we go down here. <clears throat> I don't know if this can back up or not, but uh, yeah, so maybe that's another half a belt. And then the plastic goes on and on and on. Now we're taking some plastic off here as well. I see, so that's another half a belt that's definitely getting used up. My god, we're using up more belts than we have. And look at this, two belts of plastic going off. For low density circuits. That's like, between them, that's like another half a belt. So we've got more usage of plastic than we do actually having plastic on the bus. Oh, okay, alright. <clears throat> so... I don't know what we do about that. Maybe just get a separate source of plastic and put that separate source of plastic directly into logistics chests. What's how's our petrol situation doing? Our petrol just ran out incredibly fast. It was just like full and then it's just like boom, I'm not full anymore, deal with it. These guys are pretty full, so time to use a very significant amount of speed modules. <clears throat> These guys are already done. Now these guys are going to be done. You need to be upgraded, don't you? I feel like you're not handling the stress anymore. Yoink. <coughs> Alrighty. So here we go. Now, we should be we should be getting a very decent amount. Look at that, that's up to 10k already. My god, these things are fast. And they're mostly running as well. Some of them are crapping out, but there's not much we can do about that. This is slowly going down. Not much we can do about that. <clears throat> We're using up such a monumental amount of plastic. So we kind of need another line for this now. Well, we'll see. If we can max this guy out, and it looks like we will be able to, then maybe next episode we will come in and we will set up another line of plastic producers and put them straight into logistics chests. And I feel like that will be an awesome, awesome, awesome idea. Even heavy oil is looking like there's a ton of it. We're just not crunching it fast enough. You guys could do with some speed levels. There we go. Suddenly, it's just like, boom. All the heavy oil just got sucked out. Well, there's still a bit in the chest, but in the tank, but... We just have to see how this works. I still don't like the fact that this is because we're pulling off here. Pulling a very decent amount off there. That's why this belt is never full. Oh, there's not a lot we can do about that, unfortunately. Except to make this a logistics thing. <clears throat> and then get it off the other plastic setup when we do it. But at 38 minutes, I feel like it is time for us to go. Do we need more of these guys? No, we just need more of them going faster. There we go. The answer to everything is to add speed modules. Oh yes, you just dropped a ton, didn't you? Excellent. And now you're below 20k. What did we say this was? 10k. So yeah. You are going to get stuff happening very, very quickly. So there we go. I feel like that's it. I feel like I'm going to head off now. I don't know if I'm going to keep going because my voice is actually sounding a little bit better now. I feel like I've pushed through it. So maybe I will do another episode. We'll just have to see how it goes. All right. Another drink and then another episode. All right. I will catch you guys in a bit. This freaking science, man. We did do one level of robot speed. but And the robots are looking a little bit faster. But I want them to be just like whoop. Just like whoop. Like that. That might take more than just a few more levels, though. That might take a lot more. Damn it, where is my stuff? Green circuits are beautiful. What are you running out of now? Engines, what are you running out of now? Basic electronic boards. Should have seen that coming. My god, why aren't the solar panels backed up yet? Once the solar panels back up, 
everything will be beautiful if they're not backed up. All right, I will see you guys next episode. Stay tuned.